about that? You look fantastic. Thank you. Welcome. It's good to see you again. Thank you so much. I heard you talking about the fire. Yes, yeah. Did that affect you at all? I, I actually got to witness the fire from the window of the dentist's office when I was at the dentist yesterday really? for three and a half hours -ish. three and a half hours -ish. What, did you, what did you have done well I was, I, was, for a grill? I, I was supposed <laughs> to go in uh -huh. and and meet the dentist and have a tooth shaved and you have hair on your teeth <laughs> <laughs> what, what i really want to do i have okay when i have I a was, picture of your teeth that supposedly now tell me what exactly is. okay here's what was oh, yes. driving you me crazy a real monster no, no, okay. i was look at look at see this tooth right here that's yeah. a fake tooth and it was made wrong it's too long <laughs> so like it's a little bit longer than the other one and when you see yourself on television you start noticing these things yeah and it drives me bananas it does really it drives me nuts but look <laughs> it's gone now yeah well oh thank right. goodness Well, now maybe people will start being attracted to you. <laughs> well, it, it really turned out. So did you get the tooth shaved I like you asked? I got the tooth shaved, yeah. and I mm. actually got out of the dentist's office unscathed, no braces. Uh-huh, no money. <laughs> <laughs> money intact. You're okay? All right, well, yes. good, good. Well, thank goodness. Now, let me ask you about Lost, because I know the people in the studio audience have not seen it yet tonight, but I saw it tonight, and something horrible happened on the show tonight. And plug your ears if you don't want to hear what this is, but... It appears that Locke is dead. <laughs> I said plug your ears. What's wrong with you? Is he dead? You, don't, you can't say, of course. All right. Um, will you miss him next season? <laughs> Terry Quinn is my dear, dear, dear friend, and I absolutely love working with him. Uh-huh. If he was to go, I would miss him dearly. You would. If he were to stay... I would be very happy about that fact. Uh huh. It's as much as I can say. And how do you feel today? Happy or sad? <laughs> well, I feel kind of bummed about the dentist appointment, but other than yeah. that, I'm pretty good. Yeah, that was what a that was a great episode last it night. It was really yeah. good. Wasn't it's it? been a good so season. Intense, though. but there is there is the, sort of the heaviness of last night's episode that's going to carry through all the way to the finale. I mean, there's no sort of relief. It's all just pounding forward to the end. And the end, might I add. Is incredible. I am. I am. This really? is going to be. Okay, this is a weird admission, but I am not actually a huge crazy fan of the show. Only because, let me preface that, I'm going to be quoted, and it's going to kill me. Uh -huh. But I am not a television watcher. Period. So if I didn't, if I wasn't on the show, I wouldn't watch the show. Uh -huh. So most <laughs> of the reveals are kind of like, okay, cool. There is a reveal at the end of this season that when I was told it, I actually got goosebumps all over my body and I was like beside myself with excitement. Really? So I don't want to give anything away. Does it involve Sanjaya? Just tell us. <laughs> no? Yes? No? no. Okay, it doesn't. No. All right, well, we know That's that Sanjaya. at least. Yeah, wow. Well, I'm excited now. It's a two-hour finale. It's a two-hour finale. What do you think about this plan that ABC is, uh, they announced that there are going to be 16 shows each season for the next three years and then that's it? I so desperately wanted for that decision to come out because I wanted our show to come out of the gate as it did as a precedent-setting show. Something that was really incredible and really unique and really integral. And for us to then carry out our show like any other show and draw it out over a ridiculous amount of seasons so that it becomes a watered-down version of what, what it once was would have been the worst way to end a great show. So the fact that they're giving us an end date, they're letting the writers make their decisions based on creativity rather than based on money mm -hmm. is amazing. And I just give ABC and the studio their credit. Yeah. Well, we'll see what... They say that now, but we'll see what happens in that last season when things are really going oh, well. Oh, don't even, don't even like, go there. They're like, can we spin them walk. off the island, make this into a sitcom somehow? I'll walk. There, you, couldn't, you couldn't tie me down to a chair for any longer than another three years. Oh, I bet I, I could. I, I actually, bet I could. Um, <laughs> I actually can't believe I've lasted as long as I have. I actually have major commitment issues. I am a person who has a hard time staying in one place for any measure Is of time. Is that right? For real? Absolutely. Actually, when I, when I graduated high school, I was so desperate to get out of there, and I was so happy to be done. I took off, never spoke to anyone from high school ever again, and for the next three years, I went through this stage of my life where I would move every six months, 
And every six months, I would put on a different persona, pretend to be a different person, and see how that felt for a while. And then once I got bored of that, I would move to another town, and I'd pretend to be somebody else really? again. Really? Yeah. Are you sure you're not confusing it with Kate, your character? <laughs> you sound like the Hulk. The, remember the Hulk series? I might be confusing schizophrenia with something a little bit milder. You know, wow. maybe it's not a commitment issue. It's something deeper than that. So but what would you do? Like one town, you'd go and you'd be like a, like a the... black man, and then <laughs> go, <laughs> go be Japanese somewhere else, or how, how drastic would it be? It, it wasn't quite that drastic. It was more like I would decide in one town that I would be, you know, the nerdy bookworm who was really quiet and and Inclusive and shy, and in the next town, I would decide to be—I don't know—the outgoing cheerleader girl who, really? you know, was was going around with every guy in town and really? doing that kind of. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, but I would just put on different because I thought, well, who knows who I really am? I mean, we're all raised to be one thing, but who knows what's really inside of me? And I was deciding to find it. This sounds like the beginning of a superhero movie. You, know? <laughs> you eventually start fighting crime. Well, eventually what I, what I did is I became an actress. It's a good thing because otherwise you'd just that? be crazy is what would wind up happening. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, and this is a nice thing, you've got this... Um, this lipstick that uh, the proceeds go to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And tell us what... <laughs> this is an Earth-friendly lipstick. Is lipstick in general unfriendly to the earth? Generally. Do you know that originally lipstick was made out of whale blubber? Is that Therefore right? Therefore, it was part of the whale poaching phenomenon. Awesome. Is that, not oh, awesome. That's bad? Not good. Oh. So that's why we created this one. Oh, okay. And, and actually, this one, I designed the color based on the color of lipstick that my mom used to always wear when I was a kid. Oh, really? And I used to always think she was so pretty that one day I was excited to wear that color of lipstick. But when I got to be that age, nobody made that color of lipstick anymore. So I designed them. There you go. And it's, <laughs> it's nice. And tell us the cool thing about the, um, about the box okay, itself. Okay, so the box is made of corn entirely. So you can eat except it. Except that it's infused with... Um, flower petals, you can feel it's a little bit bumpy. It's infused with flower seeds. So you can actually put water on it, stick it in your garden, and it will grow a flower garden for you. No. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So then lipstick flowers will you grow? You really like that lipstick. <laughs> yeah. You no, really like nice. that lipstick. Yeah, it's you made want, of corn. You should it put it on. It would be a good color on you. <laughs> no, I don't think it would be no, a good color. No, it would be a actually, really good color. Nice, it matches time. your... Yeah. No, here, you're not going to do it right. Let me do it for you because you're going to get it all over yourself. Like Anna Nicole Smith. Okay, I want you to do this. This, this is a lipstick mouth. Okay, do this. Uh, not so big. Oh. Not so big. Oh, just l relax your lips. All it's right. really beautiful. Okay. That's lovely. Right there. Oh, it's your color. It's your color. Beautiful. I love it. I think it looks good. Well, thank you very much. Thank Evangeline you. Lily. She'll be giving makeovers. Wednesday nights on ABC. We'll be right back with Joe Rogan.